in the long term, we're going to have more and more coastal flooding of houses, businesses, schools, anything that's in the coastal zone. And eventually it will be too much for people to bear. But if they wait until that point, they might not be able to just sell and move. That's right? a dire so warning from Dr. Andrea Dutton, about. a leading expert on sea level rise. She thinks sea level rise could start hitting coastal property values in as little as 15 to 30 years. And yet, in seaside communities like here in Fort Lauderdale, you see giant buildings going up right next to high water. Is this crazy? I think it's not crazy simply because the water has always been enticing and uh, people have been, in, enjoyed living near the water. It's an important part of uh, economies around our nation and it's an important part of our own economy. Dr. Jennifer Urado is an expert at planning for rising sea levels. She's in charge of Broward County's Climate Change Action Plan. So exactly what can a waterfront community like Fort Lauderdale do? In the short term, water is rising and we need to build infrastructure that accounts for that. It means higher seawalls, pumps, raising roads, raising buildings, and making room for water as part of our landscape. In some places, like wealthy communities in South Florida, millions are already being spent to deal with rising water. But if you've got property exposed to sea level rise, you should be concerned. And here's the question you need to be asking. It's the community organizing resources needed to address the flooding and build resiliency into the landscape. And in, and in communities where that action is not being taken, then I think that there is a clear vulnerability. Bottom line, the sea level is rising and it could impact your property value sooner than you think. But there are things some communities are doing and you need to find out if yours is one. Go to moneytalksnews.com and do a search for real estate. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.